every scholar takes lots of effort to write the research article in spite of that he has to face rejection of research article from standard journals to overcome this and avoid the rejection of research article you need to see this video till end because i am going to discuss some of the important factors that you need to keep in mind during the process of publication of your research article in my opinion a researcher can make mistakes at three stages before submission during submission and after submission let's discuss what are the basic reasons which can lead to rejection of research article the first is selection of wrong journal whenever you are submitting the research article to the journal first you have to make sure that whatever may be your subject that should be included in the aims and scope of that particular journal if your subject area is not included in the aims and scope of that journal then that journal may not be suitable for your research work this may lead to rejection of your research article next is uploading wrong or insufficient files whenever you are submitting the research data to the journal then it may happen that you may upload wrong file at wrong place or whatever the files that are required by the journal you might not have provided all the files to the journal this may lead to rejection of research article next is unconvincing first impression whenever you are submitting the research article to the journal the editor is going to look for the title abstract and the keywords if these three factors are not up to date or not convincing to the editor then this may lead to the initial rejection of the research article next is submitting very little data suppose for example there is a standard journal and you are just providing the primary characterized data to that particular journal if you are not providing the new work or you are not providing the sufficient new information in your research article then that may lead to rejection of your article next is poor language and formatting this is very important because many of researchers don't have the background of english they don't have the understanding of english so it is very important that your research article should be written in a scientific way and the formatting should be done according to guidelines of that particular journal you need to follow the guidelines for author given by that particular journal next is the plagiarism and ethical policy this is again very important the standard journals don't allow the publication of plagiarized data if they detect the plagiarism of 10 to 15% then they will ask you to revise your manuscript if the plagiarism percentage is greater than 10 to 15% then they will straight away reject the manuscript in case of ethical policy you need to recognize the authors whose data you are going to use in your manuscript you need to take proper authentication you need to take proper permissions for using the data of other authors in your research article if you are not doing so then in that case you may face the rejection of your research article next is improper literature review if the literature review is not up to date then you cannot explore the novelty very clearly it is very important that the literature review you are providing in your research article must be up to date next is failure to justify your findings it is very important that whatever the results you have obtained you need to provide proper scientific justification to your obtained results if you cannot provide the scientific justification behind whatever the results you have obtained then it may turn down the editor or the reviewer and you may face the rejection of your research article next is incompatibility with standard results if you are having some set of data and there is already a standard result available on that particular thing or whatever the research you have obtained then if there is no compatibility or comparability within those data sets then in that case you may face rejection of your research article your data must have some authenticity hence it is very important that 
you must provide some referencing to your data. Next is the response to reviewer queries. At this point of time, it is very important that researcher should respond to the reviewer in a very positive manner, in a very positive attitude. Provide necessary and proper reasoning behind the queries raised by the reviewer. Provide the references to whatever the justification you are providing to the queries. Because reviewer satisfaction is ultimately going to help you. Reviewer is going to recommend to the editor whether your paper should be accepted or rejected. So these are the basic reasons behind the rejection of any research article. If you can overcome this, then I'm sure you can publish your article in standard journal in a very short span of time. I hope this video is useful. To get informed by such research related videos, please subscribe.